to Trends and Friends. I'm joined by Alana Baliga. And when we think of the science spectrum, we obviously think of kiddos. We mm -hmm. think of all the fun that you guys have to offer. But uh, there's two events coming up. One mm -hmm. will feature children, but one is a little bit different, a little bit yeah. fun. It's going to be adults only. Mm -hmm. And I know Terry and myself are very excited about this event. We're excited too. But this is all kind of encompassing one big mm -hmm. event that I feel like everyone at least has heard of. So let's talk about what yeah. the main theme is. Exactly. Exactly. Two totally different events, but both in celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission for humans walking on the moon for the first time. And so they both both events will be space themed and okay. looking at our past um, in space travel and also looking towards the future of space travel. So it'll be really fun getting some historical content, um, current day content, and then applying that to the future as well. Now talk about the kids event. Yeah. So um, an annual event that we have every year is going to be this Saturday um, or next Saturday, July 20th. And okay. that's our kids summer adventure event. Um, it's a free event. Now standard rates still apply to the museum and Omni Theater, but this event is in our exhibit hall and atrium. So it's completely free to kiddos and their families um, to come and have lots of hands on activities um, as well as live science demonstrations and um, giveaways and prizes and also free screenings of some of their favorite kid TV shows. Very nice. Well, and I love the fact that if you go to the science spectrum, your kiddos have fun, yeah. but they're learning at the same exactly. time, which is so important in the summer months when you're away from school. Kiddos don't want to learn, but it's that yeah. sneaky way of getting them to learn. Exactly. Now, of course, if you want to attend that, is there limited space or is no, it kind of No, there's not. The, the, the screenings do have limited seating, so okay. it is first come, first serve on getting tickets. But again, those screenings are free, um, okay. so you'll just have to find a couple tables within the event to get tickets to those specific screenings. Perfect. And then we have to jump over to yep. the adults only event. This is a yep. brand new thing. Y'all yep. have never done it before. We what haven't. should we expect? Yeah, the, the science spectrum is celebrating its 30th year and um, so one thing we're trying to appeal to more audiences we are perceived as a children's museum but we're not just for children um, and so one thing we're trying to help with that is launching our series of all growed up events um, and so our first one is going to be um, Thursday July 18th from okay. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, and so we are going to have a lot of hands-on science activities because adults also learn while That's they play true. and so true. we want to give people permission to play and explore the museum um, as an adult and so we'll have lots of hands-on activities we'll have screenings of some of the original Apollo 11 um, uh, video okay um, we'll have our planetarium doing um, space bubble presentations um, but then we'll also have food trucks um, a cash bar live music um, and we do require or we do um, have tickets prices prices for those and if you get your ticket in advance it's a little bit cheaper okay um, and if you're a non-member of the museum it's ten dollars a ticket in advance and if you're a member it's only $8. Not um, bad. And so, yeah, it's, it's a, a pretty affordable evening, and then it's up to you if you want to purchase food and drink um, as well. But you can get food from the food truck, come sit inside in the atrium, listen to some live music, um, and then go start exploring the museum. We'll have a passport system, so as you do different activities, you're going to be earning raffle tickets. Nice. And we'll be giving raffle prizes away throughout the whole evening. Even better. Now, yeah. if you want tickets to this, are there limited seats to the adults? There are limited seats. Okay. There are limited um, um, tickets available but there are quite a few tickets still available okay. so um, you can either come in person um, pick those up anytime during normal business hours or again pick them up at the door the night of it'll just be a little bit more expensive per ticket okay but tons of fun and of course you're gonna be learning at the same yes. time but yep. live music food drinks and fun always a great thing and let me tell you uh, I love visiting the science spectrum the critter fest was yeah. amazing oh, so much fun so can't <laughs> wait for the all grown up series and of course you can always find more information on their website up next Raising Canes tells us about the grand opening of their fourth location. That's after the break.